Welcome to Huntley 158 today. So our guest today is, uh, is, is Adam Dean, who's our chief uh, security officer. So welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Dean. Oh, thank you so much. So you know, we started uh, uh, this position uh, earlier, about, about a year ago, actually, because unfortunately, we are in a time when uh, there just are, we need to be more security conscious. There are more potential threats out there. And so we, being big enough, really wanted to have a security expert to help lead um, security in District 158. So you, you joined our team just about a year ago. And uh, in that time, you've had an opportunity to spend a lot of time in schools and kind of make an assessment of what you see. Can you talk to us a little bit about kind of what you've seen in the last year and some of the things you've done? Yeah. So, you know, I started probably about 10, 11 months ago, you know, in the, uh, to get my feet wet. You know, I kind of want to go into each and every school and kind of blank canvas and see what the protocols and procedures they had in place for, for safety and uh, to do that overall assessment and to see where our needs and our gaps and our holds were. Um, you know, so obviously, you know, I would start when the school day started, see how the traffic flow coming in, students coming in, um, how teachers did their day-to-day -day stuff. And then um, we also, um, I also had them do a couple of drills that they did and I got to see how they did, you know, the fire drill, the tornado drill and the code red drill. Um, code Red Act is an active shooter drill that they do in the schools. As I said, you're a security expert. Um, tell us a little bit about your professional background and what you did before you came to Huntley 158. So before I came into District 158, I was with the Huntley Police Department for um, about 13 years, uh, mainly uh, focusing on juvenile investigations. Um, so at that time, during that time, um, I was able to go into schools um, in District 158 and familiarize myself with the schools, the staff, and the students um, during my investigations. So it kind of got me to see um, how they work uh, from the outside perspective, because um, law enforcement and uh, schools work a little bit differently um, when it comes to um, safety and stuff like that, So, which helped me uh, during my assessments of the schools when I got hired on here at District 158. Mr. Dean, last year we implemented a new process with the whole buzzer system for safety as parents were coming in or guests were coming into District 158. How did that, how was that um, welcomed by the, the community and the parents coming into our schools? It's a great question, Jessica. You know, um, obviously that happened a little bit before my time that I came in. So, I mean, it was a great uh, proactive uh, thing that District 158 did prior to my arrival. And um, from what I've heard, um, how the uh, staff and how the parents in the community have uh, um, been very receptive to that. Um, Dr. Burke had mentioned, you know, in this day and age, you know, it's a little bit different game uh, about school safety, how it's upped. And the world we live in is, is kind of dangerous out there and we need to be proactive of, um, with keeping our students safe and our staff safe so we can have a great uh, learning environment for them. Well, and I think, I think security in schools is always a balance between uh, security but also having openness of our public schools. And I think we always have to try to find where that right balance is, and that can change over over time. One of the things uh, you know we did, like I said a year ago, with the buzzer system that changed that. But I would agree. I think I think parents really understood the need for that to just be one more layer of of security, and certainly by itself is not everything, but it is a layer. But one of the uh, the new things that uh, you're looking to roll out uh, is being rolled out as we speak this fall. Is, uh, is something called the Raptor system that you helped us uh, you helped us find and implement. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So again, 11 months ago, I did my initial assessment, and one of the things that I did see was our visitor management system. Um, how it used to be was anybody can come into the building and sign in their names and say, oh, "Well, I'm going into this classroom," and they'll sign in their name under the sign-in sheet and then walk right into the school building. Um, and then also during that time, I had gone to many school districts. And I had noticed that they had a different visitor, man visitor management system that was called the Raptor. And what that system does is an individual will come into our school building. They will say, oh, I need to go see, you know, Johnny or Sarah in this classroom. And before they can do that, they have to present their IDs to that front office staff and they get scanned into a, um, a web-based uh, um, process uh, that'll check the sex offender registry on there as well. So any visitor that does come into our um, any of our facilities in District 158 will have a neon green visitor badge, which will be identified with this. As you can see, it's neon green. It says District 158 visitor. And also in our schools, um, each school has their own individual lanyard. Um, you know, could say Heinemann Middle School, Marlowe Middle School, and even our district office has their own identifiable um, lanyard. Um, our substitutes are identified by lanyards, um, and all of our staff is good. So if someone's in the building that 
shouldn't be, they would, it would be very clear that they shouldn't be there, and that's the whole point of that, Yes, correct? that is correct. We, we didn't bring about the system because of any one threat or any kind of uh, one thing, single thing that has happened in our world today. We are just trying to be proactive and kind of move into, uh, into this generation with technology and um, getting away with the paper and pencil um, visitor management style, and now it'll all be web-based and easily access, uh, accessible uh, by all staff. Mr. Dean, every year we have a number of brand new kindergartners coming into the, the schools as well as new students moving into the district. If I were a parent sending my students to District 158, what are some of the things that we have in place to help parents be comfortable or other things that they should expect um, in the realm of safety and security just so that they can help prepare their students as they're coming into our schools? That's a great question, Jessica. Um, you know, with that Raptor machine, we had sent out a parent letter that had uh, um, depicted what each parent can expect uh, when they come into our buildings, um, you know, and going even further with your question about safety and security in the schools, you know, um, how we're doing, uh, you know, three fire drills, two tornado drills, one code red drill. And, um, you know, I kind of put in um, a little bit of different uh, tone for the staff this year was doing unannounced drills. Um, getting at our most vulnerable times um, to ensure that we are doing everything that we can to um, ensure our safety of our children and our staff. Well, Mr. Dean, I really want to thank you for, uh, for joining us today and for learning a little bit more about uh, security because that obviously is our absolute top priority for, uh, for our students and we appreciate everything you do to um, help make us even that much more safer. I appreciate so. you guys having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us with Huntley 158 today. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.